welcome to Photoshop and today I'm going to show you how to create one of these borders that you can use on any image. So you could easily come in here and create a border just for this image but what I'm going to do is show you how to create a border that you can use on any image any image ratio whatever you want to use. Now this is kind of an extreme one but well, we're going to come in here I'm going to show you how I created this. So the first thing we're going to do is go up here to new and we're going to create a new document and I'm creating this quite large so this is 12 inches by 300 dpi and this is black we actually want this white so I'm just going to hit shift delete on a Mac and fill that with white so that's going to simply fix that so I'm going to drag my layers over here just so you can see what I'm doing so I'm going to create a new layer and the reason in the beginning I'm creating this new layer is so if I do screw something up, I can just turn it off or adjust that one part. I don't have to start over with the whole entire project. Next thing I'm going to do is create a space from where this border is going to be. Now notice I've got some rulers up here. So I'm looking at kind of like this one inch mark. So I'm trying to get one inch by one inch, which is quite a lot. It doesn't matter that this is the, you, the borders that big in the beginning because we can always make it smaller but for right now I want to make sure I have plenty of room to work so I've got one inch by one inch now the issue here is right now I've selected the inside so right now it's actually this area in here that's selected I want this outer edge because this is the border you're gonna come up here and go to select inverse which is command shift I so now notice we've selected this area up in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and kind of create this black line. Now this black border that you're seeing me make was made back in film when you had when when you were developing a print. If you filed out your negative carrier, it kind of gave you this really randomized black border around your image and it kind of also showed that you shot this full frame, which was kind of important back then you could really only do it if it was a full frame image so what we're going to do is get a hard brush I want a really hard brush and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than that and we're basically just going to come in here and I'm going to paint black because I basically want to get this black edge around here first so I'll note, notice that right now it's halfway over this line so I can't paint in here I can only paint out here in this edge which is important to see so we're just going to go back in time. And so I want this little area right here to be thin. So we're going to go, and hopefully I can do this. I'm just trying to come in here and get this as accurate as possible. I don't want it to be even, but I, I don't want it to get too big or too small as well. So it's somewhat randomized. I'm going to stop right there in the corner. Then we're going to come in here. That's too much, so I'm going to hit Command-Z. I didn't get quite enough right there. Make sure we have a little bit. I'm going to hit Command Z because I didn't like that big bump right there. It's a little bit hard with a mouse to go down. There's some ways to kind of fix this, but that looks pretty good. I'm going to come up here and actually just make this a little bit smaller so it's accurate. So that's cool. Now we've got this sort of black border that we're looking at around the edge which is what we want so now we're going to give it that kind of cool effect so right now it's kind of wibbly wobbly and doesn't look so good i've got a whole bunch of brushes in here now the, the key to doing this is you need to make sure you have brushes that are going to look cool when you do this so i've got a whole bunch of paint splatter brushes and i've got tons of them and so when i come in here now and i paint black you can see it's giving me that cool little border you don't want to do this a whole bunch of times. Now I've got this brush right now so it's using shape dynamics and its size jitter is up. And so what that means is it's constantly making the brush bigger and smaller and, and sort of rotating it. So I can kind of go around at different sizes and add some of those little splashes. Now I'm not going to stay on any one brush too long. So I'm just going to come in here and add that now do we have size jitter up no so we're just going to come in here don't worry if it gets too big or you do too much we're just going to come in and 
add some spots and then once again I'm just gonna come in and pick a completely different brush that one's gonna work pretty good so you can see this is very randomized it's kind of just coming in here all right so that's pretty good so notice this one says shadows so that one's gonna be sort of a darker paint splatter and you can use is dramatic or simple type brushes as you want I'm just kind of going through here and just randomly picking stuff I'm not really caring too much what they look like you can see this one's kind of filling in a lot which is good so that was a good brush it filled in a lot I'm gonna prick another one that's sort of similar and notice I'm trying to fill in towards these black edges more than I am anywhere else And so we're slowly starting to build this up and it takes a while so you might see me speed this up for a little bit and I'm basically just going through and picking random different brushes that I'm going to be filling in these areas with. So any place that I want it. So this one's sort of randomized. And then once you get sort of this how you've got some these hard edges filled in so kind of where I painted that initial black line is starting to look better I'm gonna command Z and undo that one once it starts to look good right now we're on a black color I'm gonna flip to white so that's gonna be sort of a negative and what this is gonna start to do is take away what we just put up so I'm gonna go around the outer outer edge and try to remove some of the areas that I don't like so it's not such a big border So I've got this pretty much cleaned up how I want to. So what I'm going to do is just take this brush now and I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to clean up any areas where I don't want anything. So we're just going to use a simple brush. I'm going to make sure that I've got some white here. So any areas where I, I don't want any of these little splatters. We're just going to simply remove that. Just kind of clean it up so it looks good. Now obviously there's some quicker ways that you can come in here and do this but this will really let you if you want to use dots or smoke or any sort of brush that you want to use it's simply available and you just kind of download that brush and you can use that sort of pattern so I could easily come in here and use one of my smoke brushes and create sort of the same sort of pattern or idea but just with a different type of brush and it's going to give me a whole bigger look and obviously you can make these borders as wacky and as crazy as you can or you can keep them more simple just depending on what you do so we're just going to go through here and that looks pretty good so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm actually happy with this so I'm going to flatten this image and save it and then I'm going to right click this and I'm going to save this as a smart object and this is going to allow me to kind of scale and size this on different images when I want I'm gonna go ahead and save this so I'm gonna save as All right, so we have this border and we've saved it and this is gonna allow you to use this whenever you want I'm just gonna hit escape here now the image I have over there is is quite small so we don't need it to be this big so I'm just gonna make this border 2200 pixels I could use the transform and just do this but it's so much bigger it's gonna save a lot of issues so I'm just going to grab the move tool and I'm going to drag this over to the photo where I want to put the frame on it. I'm going to come over and hold the shift key. The shift key is going to center that image. So you can see right now we're not seeing all of this border, which is what we actually want. We want part of it to be hiding because if we if we 
right now the border we want to actually fit around the whole frame to be able to see this it's not a big deal we're just going to come in and crop it but i want to make sure we have a little bit on all edges so i'm just going to hit command t to transform this i'm going to hold the key and we're just going to bring it in a little bit that looks pretty good i'm going to hit ok so the next thing we need to do is actually select the inside of this image. And, and we want to do that so that we can actually reveal the image. So I'm going to come up here and grab the selection tool. Now sometimes when you do this selection tool, it magic wand leaves a little line around here. So we'll see if it leaves a line. If it leaves a line, it's not a big deal. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and now create a mask. And then I'm going to invert the mask, and that's going to show the photo. So we're just going to zoom out. And you can see, here's that little, it didn't do it everywhere, but it le right here on this side, it's leaving a little line. And that's just, for some reason, it doesn't select so good. So we're going to just go back in time here. Not a big deal. So if you get that, you go to your selection. You just go up to transform selection and we're going to make that selection just a hair bigger i'm going to hold down that alt key and i'm just going to go out just ever so slightly hit return now when i make that mask and hit command i to invert the mask we've eliminated those lines and you can't tell where they are so the issue here is right now we don't see the whole border and i want to see more of that white so all we need to do to see that border now is just increase our crop as the image is there it's just we're not seeing it and then I'm gonna simply hit return and then voila just like that we've got this image with this really cool border around it and it was that simple so if you have any comments or questions you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe